Hi guys and welcome to another video. So in this video we're gonna start talking about Windows speech recognition. So uh, in this we're gonna talk about the history of the speech recognition on Windows. So let's get started. So Windows speech recognition uh, is a speech recognition component developed by Microsoft for Windows Vista. So the first operating system that um, started the speech recognition on Windows was the Windows Vista that enables the use of voice commands to control the desktop desktop user interface, detect text in electronic documents, forms, and email, navigate websites, perform keyword shortcuts, operate the mouse cursor, and create macros to perform additional tasks. So the whole thing about this uh, functionality is to help people get things done, but actually it doesn't, it doesn't did that. There are several reasons why um, one of the reasons is that the accuracy is not that good so it, even if people try to do things using the speech recognition um, most of the time uh, it wasn't uh, efficient okay because you you need to repeat yourself a lot and that uh, causes people to lose lose interest so that's uh, a lot of reasons behind that but I'm gonna talk that uh, now, so so WSTR is locally proce proce processed, processed I, I think, speech recognition platform. It does not rely on cloud computing for accuracy detection, dictation, or recognition services, but instead adapts based on the user's continued input, grammar, speech samples, training sessions, and vocabulary. So the this uh, speech recognition technology works offline it certainly has uh, some pros and cons but uh, the main thing I think is that because it works offline uh, if you want to use some project that relies on speech recognition uh, you could do that but again if if the accuracy is not that good so if you would build an app that uses this speech recognition, which is available since the Vista, since Windows Vista for uh, for usage uh, app, apps, you need to kind of adapt and make some changes in order to to get it works to get it working. But uh, let's talk about. Let me see. So there is a tutorial on how to use it. So let's see. Uh, WSR relies on the speech uh, speech API developed by Microsoft and third-party application much support for, much support for text services framework. It is also presented in Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 8.1, and Windows 10. So I'm gonna show you guys how to use this later. Um, in this video um, is just going to be a uh, video on the history of it. So, Microsoft has been involved in speech recognition and speech synthesis research for many years. In 1993, Microsoft hired Zhun Dong Hung from Carnegie Mellon University to lead its speech recognition efforts. So, again, you, you could see that this university, Carnegie Mellon, is um, very related to a speech recognition. I don't know why, but it's if you search a lot uh, for speech recognition you're gonna see that this university it's it's uh, related to speech recognition uh, many times so the company's research eventually led to the development of the speech api introduced in 1994 speech recognition also has been used in microsoft products prior to wsr so we have windows vista Security report, um, Windows 7, overview features. So, WSR allows the, a user to control a computer, including the operating system, desktop user interface, row voice commands. Applications, including most of those bundled with Windows, can also be controlled through voice commands. By using speech recognition, users can dictate text within documents and email messages fill out forms, control the operating system, user interface, perform keyword shortcuts, and move the mouse cursor. So there is a lot of things that you could do using speech recognition 
uh, but again if the accuracy is not that good uh, you wouldn't probably wouldn't get the benefits of it so yeah that's something that you need to look for uh, so we have alternates panel which is a panel which that shows uh, different alternatives for a voice command or a speech we have the com common co common commands uh, which is uh, searching as new line, new paragraph, tab, little word, number, number, number. Uh, we have the mouse grid. We have speech dictionary. Uh, we have the macros. Macros is kind of a language for writing commands. So yeah, we have. We get to the end. So this video is just a uh, kind of talking about the history of, of Windows speech recognition. Of course, we're gonna talk more about this in the future videos so if you guys want to stick around and check them out you guys should definitely do that so thank you guys for watching this video and i see you guys next time